Hello everyone and uh, welcome uh, to the Technion, to the Programmable Logic Devices Lab uh, in the Practical Engineering School. Uh, we are here to show you our uh, studies project in our electronic studies. We have developed a system which can, which can emulate and uh, scan iButton uh, keys. This system can be used for hacking iButton locks. Uh, this is an iButton key. Uh, each one of those keys has a unique serial number program, programmed into it. The serial number is composed of 64 bits, and each key, in fact, has a unique serial number. There are no two iButton keys which has the same serial number programmed onto them, and you cannot, you cannot change a serial number of an iButton key after it is produced. To implement our project, we used a Cyclone board uh, from the Cyclone 2 family. On the Cyclone board, there is an FPGA chip, which we built our VHDL code on it. As one can see, there are switches, LEDs, seven segment display, which uses us as input output. A VGA cable is connected to a VGA display. An RS-232 serial communication cable is connected to a COM port on this PC, which this is its uh, display. And a 40 pins flat cable is connected to an exterior, external uh, wire board. On the wire board, uh, you can uh, see two connectors. One is red data, and two is black uh, ground. This probe we connect to a lock that we want to hack, and there is also an I button socket, which by connecting an I button key to it, we can duplicate its serial number and use it in the further future. Uh, to demonstrate our system, we also have here uh, two locks. This is a lock for uh, domestic and office use. When we put the correct key to the lock, you can see the green LED and the scratch sound, uh, which means that the deadbolt is released and the door can be opened. When we put the incorrect uh, key, we, we saw uh, the red LED and the unwanted uh, beeping sound. This is a lock uh, for school lockers. When we put the incorrect uh, key, we saw the red uh, LED and of course the deadbolt is locked. And now the correct key, green LED, the deadbolt is open and also uh, um, uh, a beeping sound. Now, to put our system into operation, the first thing that we need to do is to set some basic parameters. This is done through a PC interface, and the data is sent to the FPGA on the, here on the, on the board through a serial communication. Now the data is sent, and we can see that the data that, the data that was uh, put in now appears on uh, the display. After doing this, we will uh, switch our system to the analysis mode. In this mode, a large number of, uh, of uh, I-button combination is fed to the lock, and the system actually analyzes the response characteristics of the lock to each uh, serial number which is sent uh, to the lock. As you can see, different serial numbers are fed to the lock, is a lock response time is measured, and it will use us in the breaking uh, step uh, next to the uh, analyzing uh, step. The scan is finished, 20 locks have been uh, scanned, uh, its response time were measured, and we will now proceed to the breaking uh, step. Now the hacking is done. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, different uh, serial numbers are fed to the lock, uh, the response time is measured, when the lock uh, is uh, being uh, hacked, a uh, response time that is longer than the typical response time that we measured here is measured, and it will indicate that we've uh, reached the correct uh, key. Okay, you can see the system is breaking uh, the key. The status is changed, the uh, breaking is finished, we now have the correct key saved in, uh, in our system and we can use it uh, whenever we want. Um, let's see if uh, it is open in the lock or not. As you can see, we have the correct key. Uh, this project uh, comes to show you that an IBAN lock can be hacked and preventing measures uh, should be taken uh, can care of uh, for uh, this uh, kind of use uh, not uh, to succeed. Uh, it is important to know that for this demonstration we used a small number of combinations, but in fact we can use more than 100,000 uh, numbers for uh, the, an the analysis mode 
and, and, and in fact for the hacking we can produce all this, uh, the uh, I button combination that can exist. And finally, we want to thank the entire uh, teaching staff of uh, the electronics department in the practical engineering school and foremost, uh, the mentor, our mentor in this project, Mr. Amos Zaslavsky. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.